over the last eight years, it's been a pretty good bet that the Western Sea Championship was going to run through either Deergo or Booth Bay as they've combined to win six regional titles in that time. Big matchup tonight between those schools in Dixfield. Deergo and Booth Bay. Booth Bay coming in undefeated. Deergo running. Riley Robinson ahead of Gavin Hebert for the layup. Then Hebert with the lay in and the foul. Game tied in the second quarter. Booth Bay with an answer. Julian Apon. Nice move. The pull up J, that is smooth. Seahawks by one at the break. In the third, John Hepburn, their do everything guy, finds Nick Kilgus for the backdoor hoop. Booth Bay by five. But here come the Cougars on the run. Gavin Arsenault kicks it out to Cooper. Chase on for three. And Dirigo hands Booth Bay its first loss of the year, 73 66. Big win up in Dixfield. Unbeaten Winslow, number one in the East, number two in the West. Morris meeting up tonight. What a matchup. End of the third, Nason Lamphere. Check out the spin move and then the the lefty in the lane. Winslow builds its lead to 37-33, but then Keegan McDonough goes to work. The basket and one. Then McDonough with the strip steal and going for reverse. We're tied at 39 midway through the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back turnovers for Morse, though. Leads to a Winslow lead. It's Trenton Bouchard in for the easy two. Then Josh Curvin. Black Raiders up 44-41. Morse. About a minute to go. Inside, Ethan Winglass, the up fake, and then the basket and one. We're tied 44 44. Then, next possession, Winglass, the game winner there. 46 44. Morse hands Winslow its first loss of the season. How about that? Spruce Mountain at Lincoln Academy. Spruce on the glass. Tyler Kachinovich. Picking up the board, and then the nice putback for Spruce. Then Deontay Ring on the break hits Anthony York, the big man, showing the agility for the nice finish. Lincoln responds. Cody Tozier goes back door to Travis Kramer. This is a low scoring affair, and it'd be one that Spruce Mountain would squeak out 37 34, the Phoenix to win. A boys, Gorham hosting Westbrook. Spencer Ruda driving for two. Rams up 21 in the third in a match that, well, on paper looked like it'd be even. Westbrook trying to get Get back in it. Derek Brunig working the glass. One of the top rebounders in the league. The putback. Gorham breaks the press though. Ruda ahead to Tyler Bernage. That's an easy two. Then Ruda with the steal and he does it himself. 60 to 39. Gorham with the victory at home. Impressive tonight. Unbeaten Portland visiting Bitterford. Bitterford hanging around in this one down nine in the first half. And then Alex Millet from Austin to Tremble. They're down nine. Portland though turns up the D. Alex, Stephen Alex with the steal. He goes in for the basket and one. A little bit later, off another turnover, Amir Moss goes in for one. He had 17, 67, 33. Portland still unbeaten. Massabesic hosting Deering. Off the inbounds play, Matt Prokey, the long two for the Mustangs. But then Deering, wow, they would turn it up tonight. Malik White, the answer at the other end. And then Garang Mayo inside. He had 22, 96, 48. Deering with the victory on the road. All right, Mountain Valley Conference. Let's check it out. Karabak visiting Wiscasset. Back to the league. Evan Gore puts it on the floor. And then in the back of the basket, counted for two for Karabak. But Wiscasset's D, the big play. Sean Chubbuck to Thomas Anderson to Brandon Sprague for the deuce. 71, 59. Wiscasset the victory. On the girls' side, Spruce Mountain in a new conference has put it all together. The only unbeaten team in Western B girls tonight hosting Lincoln Academy. Moving it around, Nicole Hamlin gets things started for the Phoenix, the corner three. Then Vanessa Barnes drives, and she's going to hit the lay in. Rather, she hits Hamlin for the land. Then Hamlin in traffic, giving up to Sam Richards. Everybody scoring for the Phoenix tonight. The Eagles trying to stay in this one. Taylor Oliver finds Danielle Pinkham for the deuce, but the Phoenix pull away. Kaylee Newcomb working inside for the basket. 55 34, Spruce Mountain the victory. To Western A, McCauley coming off a big one over Thornton Academy at South Portland. Fourth quarter, McCauley on top by three. Olivia Dalfonts misses, but Eva Mazer, the big put back, McCauley by five. South Portland responds. Megan Graff, the jumper, it's a three. Three point game midway through the fourth. But McCauley again, second chance points. Jess Wilson, the putback, she had 17. And then Olivia Dalfonts would seal it 45 36. McCauley the win. Two of the best sophomores in the state added tonight. Alicia Obi of Westbrook, Emily Esposito of Gorham. In the third, Gorham down a point. Esposito goes to work. The reverse lay in, she had 17. Then Kristen Curley hits the three. Gorham wins it. 49 to 42. Thornton Academy coming off its first loss of the season on Tuesday, hosting Noble. Alexander Hart to Ashley Howe for two. And then Howe returns the favor, dishing to Hart. 
Thornton Academy in a romp, 71 to 10 over Noble. Portland visiting Biddeford. Catherine Johnson asking for a baseline. She gets it. The nice floater. Bulldogs jump out to an eight point lead for the Tigers. Kendra Cody goes to the hole. She's going to miss, but like all good players, falls her own up and puts it back in. The Bulldogs in transition. Jonna Gaudette to Shayla Eubanks. The freshman finishes 48 to 29. Portland with the victory. All right, Red Claws back at home to begin a stretch. Playing uh, Santa Cruz tonight, first of back to back games with Santa Cruz. Red Claws looking to break a D League record with a 17 and 3 start. Maine was down in the third. Chris Babb, the floater, he gets it to go, but the Warriors with the win. 101 88 teams play Saturday night. That's Hoops 8. Thanks for watching.